Welcome back to Angel Shop Presents, and here is more of the art that I used to do. Um, well, that went too far. That I used to do growing up as a kid, and now, so. I was having a rough time last night getting two videos uploaded, so I figured this shot should work out a little bit better. I'm hoping. I'm really, really hoping. And this is one of my all-time favorite ones. This is actually going to be my leg tattoo, hopefully. I just, I love how the face turned out. So, I, I liked it. And then these two were also tattoo ideas. Ah, can't get it. One second. These are also other tattoo ideas that I wanted to do. This one I really want, and I really love this one. Beep. <laughs> um, I actually kind of like, I actually kind of like this as an art tattoo, like as a tattoo design too. Like, like this one. My horrible, horrible cursive. <laughs> That's just a snowflake that I made. This was from 2015, I believe. I didn't mark it, but I believe that was from 2015. I really like how these came out. Like, I had, like, this was the best therapy I've ever had. This really is. Music and art are my two biggest things of therapy. And this is DNA. And I've always liked how it looked. I kind of want to do a whole series for it. On it, actually. Different DNA strands twisting into each other. I think that would be pretty cool. That was a pick necklace that I wanted to do. It's when I got my guitar, apparently. Because a lot of them is like pick related, guitar related, music related, more so than normal. just my initials. I'm like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> Oopsies. This will also be a pretty cool tattoo idea. I know, a lot of my ideas I always thought they would be like really cool for tattoos or something. Or a poster design or, I don't know, something... Some crazy stuff. <laughs> just like how a lot of my things started to turn out. I still do like how my art's turning out, but I haven't been doing too many, like, these ideas. Or, like, the twisty ones that you really have to look at to get the picture and everything. Like, I haven't done one of those in so long. Oh, hey, there's a back one. That's cool. And a very screwed up cat. <laughs> this is so old, too. Like, wow. I should have marked that one. That I was the only kid and I did that once. That's that's cringeworthy, that cat. That that cat is very cringeworthy. <laughs> this is one of the ones my mom loved the most. And I'm trying not to... Wow. Sorry for that earlier. Just, wow, I forgot how messed up some of my stuff was. And I forgot that I can pause the camera when I have to. I feel so silly. I forgot this thing you can pause. Like, you guys have to remember, a lot of these pictures I'm showing you are really, really old. So that was just how I was feeling at the time. And I lost a lot of people growing up. So it was just how I could express myself. Like I was saying earlier, this was my therapy. 
This is how I got all my feelings out when I couldn't really talk to anybody. <clears throat> and also back then I kind of noticed I used to do a lot of um, multicoloring and some things. Like I used to like add a lot of those colors together kind of deal. But again, a lot of this was just like back when I was a teenager and I was going through some really rough times. So again, this was my kind of therapy. Please don't take any of the stuff, like the writing and stuff like that, to heart, please. I'm not like that anymore. I've gotten a lot better through the years. Yes, I still have my ups and downs, but I, I've gotten a lot better through the years with my emotions. And speaking about my emotions, I just got a text. Huh. Awesome cakes. And I'll, this is actually, I want to say, my very first um, blown ink project. This I actually really did enjoy a lot. Okay, well my camera is going to cut soon, so I'll see you guys in the next video.